Welcome back guys to another Kangen Omega video. Today we're talking about Bando. If you're new to my channel and enjoy my Kangen Ashura Kangen Omega videos, make sure to subscribe. And if you haven't already, make sure to join the Discord to talk more about this Kangen greatness. Link is in the description. I'll be going over his physical attributes, his history, his role in the story, and some power and ability and other cool stuff about him. So Bando, also known as the Bloody Tusk, is a famous convict serving a multiple homicide sentence. And he was later recruited by Sayatara Sesu to represent uh, J.O. Communications as the affiliated fighter during the Kangen Annihilation Tournament. His current age in Kangen Omega is 53. His Kangen wins is 1 and Kangen losses is 1. Where he was defeated by Hatsumi Sen in the Annihilation Tournament. I'll talk about his history for a bit. So before he became a convict, Bando was an elite medical student for pretty much out of nowhere. He decided to uh, raid uh, Yakuza forces for a number of years. And during this time he ended up killing 17 people and severely injured many more. After killing two of his arresting officers and injuring many others, Bando willingly surrendered to the police with the whole event sparking public attention at that time so everyone knew of what was going on with Bando. Everyone was aware, it was everywhere on the news. He was put on death row at, and hanged at 45 times over 25 years but survived each time prompting the Japanese government to seek an pretty much exchange or execution in the pretty much Kangen tournament where they would put him in the Kangen tournament hopefully he'll be killed during the the tournament and we know what happened with all of that. It's also mentioned that we found out in Kangen Omega that sometime uh, pre uh, pretty much becoming a crazy man killing people when he was still a scientist or whatever he was doing. He was approached and given money by the organization known as Worm that we've learned about a lot throughout the last 20 chapters in Omega and that he was sponsored by them to do research on the brain as it's connected with Worm that they want research on the brain as they went to Yamashita Kenzo to do the exact same thing and then we learned about Bandit involvement through Yamashita Genzo who was telling Yamashita about all this was going and that uh, Bando was approached by them as well who had given them funding he actually did funding or actually did research for them about the brain and then after that that led to his murderous rampage where he started killing Yakuza member and policemen and everything like that. In Ashura his fights weren't the greatest fights at all. His fight against Hanafusu was good where he was meant to be killed but he was ended up being saved during the tournament but he was meant to be pretty much killed even though he defeated Hanafusa but he was meant to die from the poison but he didn't and then he was defeated by Hanaf Hanafusa by Hatsumi Sen in the second round. It was a pretty good fight, not one of the best fights but it was okay. Manageable fight, average fight but there we go. Now on to the power and abilities. So he's not a per se martial artist like the other fighters. He is experienced in killing. That's like from his experience of killing all the Jakuza and so on say. He has extremely uh, dense muscles. Not at the level of Akasuki but it's more than the than most other people in the tunnel with him being shown to effortlessly snap people's necks. He has incredible durability and by complemented by amazing endurance, being able to continue fighting even after taking extreme heavy amounts of damage. I wouldn't put him in top three for endurance, maybe top five or six for endurance. He can be slashed, impaled by blade, and still be able to continue fighting. And even having his arm broken, he was be good. But his greatest weapon is his abnormal joint flexibility with a level of uh that's like far beyond most human limits it goes to a bit extreme and like not really logical at times bender is extremely flexible with his joints even having a 140 degree range to like twist his body around twist his arm around absolutely crazy bender's fighter style utilizes this brute force in conjunction with his incredible range of motion and flexibility this flexibility is what also allowed him to survive all the hangings bender was has used his ability to dodge two of hanafusa's fatal attacks by bending his neck backwards to crush the man's fingers before they could strike his pretty much death blow spots. He's also capable of dislocating his joints to extend their reach even further than what his pretty much other technique was or built-in ability if you want to say that. His limbs are highly destructive whips using his arms like a pretty much whip to just strike back and forward on enemies. For survivors who saw Bando kill Yakuza members and police followers with, with this attack mentioned that his victim's head exploded as he was hitting them. That's how strong his joints were and how, compared with his muscles or combined with his muscles that's how much damage they could do. He didn't use a named attack in the Annihilation Tournament and we haven't seen him fight in Omega just being 
uh, pretty much pris in prison just talking to Yamashita Kenzo. So that's pretty much everything we have for Bando. I doubt it will see much more of him. He might, like, I don't know, try to escape prison or something. He might get that, might get saved by Worm or something. Who knows? But I doubt it will see Bando for a while. We've seen him, had his little, like, extra backstory thing. I doubt it will see Bando anytime soon. But there you go. That's Bando. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We just hit recently hit uh, 2,000 subscribers. Make sure to hit check out my 2,000 subscriber special. And yep, that's it, guys. Peace.